Investment term for the day. Common stock. Common stock is a security that represents ownership in a corporation. Holders of common stock elect the board of directors and vote on corporate policies. This form of equity ownership typically yields higher rates of return long term. However, in the event of liquidation, common shareholders have rights to a company's assets only after bondholders, preferred shareholders, and other debt holders are paid in full. Common stock is reported in the stockholders' equity section of a company's balance sheet. With common stock, if a company goes bankrupt, the company's stockholders do not receive their money until the creditors, bondholders, and preferred shareholders have received their respective shares. This makes common stock riskier than debt or preferred shares. The upside to common shares is they usually outperform bonds and preferred shares in the long run. Many companies issue all three types of securities. For example, Wells Fargo and company have several bonds available on the secondary market. It also has preferred stock such as its Series L and common stock. The first ever common stock was established in 1602 by the Dutch East India Company and introduced on the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. Larger US-based stocks are traded on a public exchange such as the New York Stock Exchange or Nasdaq. As of 2019, the former has 2,800 stocks listed on its bourses, while the latter has 3,300 stocks listed. NYSC had a market capitalization of $28.5 trillion dollars in June 2018, making it the biggest stock exchange in the world by market cap. There are also several international exchanges for foreign stocks, such as the London Stock Exchange and the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Companies that are smaller in size and unable to meet an exchange listing requirement are considered unlisted. These unlisted stocks are traded on the over-the-counter bulletin board or pink sheets. And that was investment term for the day.